These are pretty simple devices, just nicely machined foam rubber. Shape down so you can get in some narrow places. Rubber bands. And instructions. Only pump up the sprayer a few times. Excess pressure will cause it to drip more. And you should mix the solution stronger than when spraying. If you have a tip like this on your sprayer, you can just jam it on and it will stay there. And if you've got a skinny one like this, you'll need to use the rubber bands. Pull the trigger to wet it, you're going to want to be over dirt or concrete or in the center of a weed because it's going to drip. I just barely pumped the sprayer enough to get it to flow and I'm triggering it as lightly and briefly as I can but it still drips quite a bit. Then you just paint with it. This whole area is going to get killed but I'm just using it for testing to see how controlled it can go. Two weeks later I also just painted a little bit here to see how sharp the edges could be. Very controlled. Doing a small area around the base of a rose bush. Two weeks later. It does give you excellent control when you need to be very selective. <laughs> 